And I've just completed watching all the Underworld movies. I mean, not some, not all in a row. Gosh, didn't, don't need that on my first weekend away from Best Buy. Um, so, watched uh, Rise of the Lycans, a film that I really didn't want to watch because I think everything was explained about what happened in this film in the first film. But it is a great opportunity to bring back beloved characters from this series. Uh, Michael Sheen as Lucian. Um, Bill Nye, why would you ever reject a film with him in it? And I can't remember the name of the actor who plays Tannis. Sorry, I only got two minutes and 20 seconds to try getting all this done. And, you know, rely on my phone primarily for IMDb. So this is directed by the former creature, and I guess still the creature designer, at least through this film, of the series. And it's pretty just straightforward. The You kind of get this... Um, moments of slow motion 3d stuff that i suspect was what the call was in terms of direction there it's just very much paint by numbers and after watching the underworld awakenings i believe it was the fourth film i kind of miss that uh semi-bright aesthetic that film offered this is all your blues, your grays, the New Zealand you didn't particularly want to see, I suppose. But it still cla uh, still has that uh, underworld feel. So if you're a fan of any of the other movies, this is worthwhile. And it doesn't leave you asking, well, no, these movies disprove that portion of it. So better than a Star Wars? No, I won't say that. I still hold the Star Wars prequels probably in higher regard but this is not a bad feature by any stretch of the imagination it's definitely for the fans and perhaps this is the right entry point to the series to those who aren't fans